Hello, my name is Aryan Atheri and this is my first introduction. My teammate is named Maideh Kaviani and our team's name is CS Smart. Our team's ID is TJI22IR5023. I'm currently 14 years old and I live in Iran. This is my first Coast Space competition and I've uh, been decently experienced with values. I've had past experiences with robots and I'm very experienced with computers and editing. One of my hobbies is coding and I'm currently in the process of learning PHP. Hi, I'm Mario Kavian Isamani. I'm Aryan's teammate. I entered uh, Quest around one month ago and uh, me and Aryan have been working on this robot very hard to make it perfect. We are both new in Quest Space and we are looking forward uh, to be in the final. Um, the category that me and my teammate are working on is RCAP Quest Space versus the U19. Um, at the beginning, me and my teammate had so many problems uh, with this robot, but uh, we tried to solve it by the time and we did it. And we tried different ways in so many different ways. For example, not going to trap or uh, we changed the speed so many times and we finally did a good work. Alright, so one of the strategies that we originally used was to make the robot faster overall, like we just made everything like fat, like the fastest in the robot and we didn't expect it to originally work but it actually did work and we were quite happy with the results. We made the robot to be able to avoid traps in any situation and if somehow it got into a trap, it's able to escape a trap easily without any troubles because of the yellow warnings and we have used some other strategies such as the, if the robot sees the deposit and the trap at the same time the sensors like take both of them the robot goes towards the deposit and that's a very good thing in my opinion how to get rgb this is simple it's quite a simple process well you first need to go into the conditions and Make it so every time you want to deposit, you need to at least have 3 gems. That will make your robot have a higher chance of getting an RGB and that will get you extra points. But the disadvantage of this is if you have an unlucky round and you don't meet deposit quite often, then you don't, and when you meet the deposit finally, and if you have less than 3 gems, then your robot is not going to deposit and that will cost a lot of time and points. Uh, but if you are usually lucky, then this should be the trick for you. Alright, as you can see, the robot does a pretty good job at depositing and it just turns towards a deposit so it can deposit properly. And the robot's speed is almost close to maximized. We didn't quite maximize it because, uh, as we tested, uh, when it's fully maximized, it behaves weirdly. But I'm not sure, that may have been just bad luck. Uh, but we have set it to almost max speed, so the robot is pretty fast. It does the job, it collects the points really quickly, and we've set uh, the robot to get RGBs faster, and we might have a chance to get RRGGBBs. And yeah, the robot does the job perfectly, and it collects gems really quickly. Uh, it's usually luck, but uh, when your robot has the uh, perfect settings, it can. Uh, out the fine lock and it can get the treasures really quickly every mad time. For this robot it averages around a thousand points each game. Actually like a thousand and two hundred or something. And the record has been a thousand and five hundred and yeah this robot does the job perfectly. Now, our final conclusion about rescue robots being in real life. They definitely can be a great thing in real life, but I am not really sure that if they can take what's underground, but if they can, it would be an amazing robot to find treasures, save people, and things buried underground. It would be an amazing robot to find things that you usually don't expect to find, and it would be definitely a good thing to the society.